I have something really cool for you today. I've been looking forward to this one. We are going to Odd Mall Emporium of the Weird. And I've been to this before. We're in for it. It's wacky. We're going to see a lot of stuff that you are not going to see nowhere else. All right, here we go. Basically, Odd Mall, think of it as an odds and ends flea market of weird and strange. There's everything from artisan soaps to bath bombs to ostrich egg dolls to someone made lamps out of books. I mean, it's like, it's a little bit of everything and it's just a really awesome, free, fun experience for everybody. Um, the theme for this all mall event is Dark Valentine, so I decided I'll be a dark fairy. and I make egg-centric dolls is the name of my business. And what I do is I take an ostrich egg like this, which is awesome, <laughs> and that's my inspiration. These are duck eggs. This is an emu egg, actually. So you can see the difference between an emu and an ostrich is quite a bit. And then I find old, great, used dolls that you know nobody wants anymore, and I recycle them or upcycle them by cutting the doll up, uh, taking all the paint off, the hair, start over, repaint the doll, redo the hair, stick them on an ostrich egg, and then start creating new lives for them. So that's what I do. <laughs> wow. Um, is there a piece here that you're particularly proud of that is like one of your favorite ones? Actually, right now, I'm really liking Trudy because I thought she just turned out exquisitely. She was exactly what was in my head, which doesn't always happen. <laughs> but yeah, I really like her. And I've just started doing balloons, and so I've decided to try to branch out a bit and make something else out of my ostrich eggs. <laughs> Mainly it's um, the raw cannabis lotion, which is good for pain, arthritis, inflammation, psoriasis, um, bug bites, allergic reactions. Most people get relief within five to ten minutes, so it's fabulous stuff. Yeah, it's all the cannabinoids when you're using cannabis raw rather than cooking it or drying it. I'm Dawn Vogel, or Scary White Girl, and I make a whole lot of different crocheted things, and that's what I'm selling here. How did you come up with the name Scary White Girl? It was a joke, because I'm not scary. <laughs> I'm spooky, if anything. I really like the little hearts and brains that I have over here. You can get a heart or a brain in a jar, and they're mostly anatomically correct looking. That is kind of scary. Yep. I'm Janelle. My brand is Coffin Crafts. I'm out here selling jewelry and things. I use a lot of natural materials and I'm inspired by nature and death. So a lot of my stuff incorporates bones and, you know, artwork around death, that kind of stuff. Is there something here that you're really personally proud of that you really like? I am very personally proud of this drawing. Is that fur? It took forever to draw. My name is Matt Denneman and I run Collage Overwhelma. It's um, basically what I do is I sell my art on recycled book pages. And that's pretty much what it is. I've been doing this for about eight or nine years. Um, I was the first person to start doing it like this. I started selling these on Etsy. I became the number one art seller on Etsy.com. And as a result, now lots of people do it. As a matter of fact, there's another guy out there that's doing it now. But you're the godfather. <laughs> I like this one. Um, this print, Clockwork Kitty, was the first one I sold, licensed out. I sold it to Ikea and they um, carried it for a while as cards. Um, another one is this one. Um, his name is Mike the Trike. He's a pug. He's my pug. Um, and I really like that one. <laughs> uh, my name is Tito Pagan and this is Sculpture Soap. So it's a product line I came up with about three years ago. And it's my way of allowing people to maybe treat themselves with something they would have home for practical use, but at the same time add a lot of just cool aesthetics, some design elements to it. So people can actually enjoy a practical bar soap as a decor decorative accessory until they're ready to use it. So it's all vegetable base and it's 40 different designs that I've sculpted. Um, they all start with a little clay that I sculpt and turn it into an actual soap product, which most folks have a hard time using. <laughs> Do you ever see these in people's houses and get mad at them? Like, oh, you ruined oh, no, my great bust. <laughs> I've been naturally flattered either way, whether they choose to use it or not use it. To me, they're buying art, extremely affordable art. It just has a very practical side. So I, I'm honored that they, they have it, and I, I have it be part of many collections at this point. 
Now we're doing some custom work where people can literally do their own custom design, whether it's uh, extremely deep uh, uh, sculpt design or just a low relief, as in this case, but we can certainly brand it with any kind of logo. This is a yogurt cup from Nancy's Yogurt out of Springfield, Oregon. So they've ordered several hundreds of these as a little swag product to promote their new line. So it's a lot of fun what you can do with stuff. Uh, my name is Jake and our last name is Hoes. And uh, we're, we're down from Piala. So we got a booth today at the Hawk Mall. I painted them, been, been uh, uh, selling art for 20 years. Um, most of them are acrylic paints on canvas. So um, I do do some digital work too. And, um, and we, we have a studio and we, we publish everything ourselves. All of the bags are based on his art. So like this is the Cat Wars bag. And then as you can tell, this is his um, Cat Wars painting. And they come in three different sizes. So this is the Kimberly bag. And this bag actually holds iPads, cell phones, keys, everything that you would need for to go on a plane. And then the smaller bags are just bags for either little kids or women that like small bags. And Very of course, cool. they're all waterproof. So. I draw inspiration from everything from pop culture to video games to um, all, all kinds of things. Just, you know, if I, if I like, uh, you know, like the Seattle area. I do. A, I do a series called the Seattle Cats, which is a famous series in, in Seattle. And um, from there, I, I, you know, I have all kinds of different series and stuff. So cool. try to keep it fresh. You know. Uh, my name is Krista Jefferson, and I'm out here selling my art. Um, it's lighthearted. I try to keep it positive, but it's also humorous, and I just try to have it just have a good sense of energy that comes across and make people happy. It's the Frida and Diego. It's okay. my favorite. I do a lot of parodies of some of the famous masterpieces, but with sock monkeys. Um, and that's one of the more recent ones that I just, I really, that one makes me happy. I've always admired Frida, and so being able to do that was, was very cool. My name's Mike Wilson, and we're with Spark Plug Industries, okay. which is our, me and my wife's little business, and we make uh, functional lamps. I worked 12 years in the restoration lighting business and I did a lot of art on the side so I just put two two together and I came up with um, making uh, steampunk style lamps or a little fantasy. My name is Berlin and I make Ouija boards, spirit boards in all sorts of different styles. Uh, they're hand burned, some of them are not hand burned, these are heat transferred, uh, these are Everything is designed by myself, and I'm constantly working on new ideas. Uh, I started about two years ago. I just, I've always been obsessed with them. I think they're the coolest thing ever. And I thought, you know what? I could do this. And so I started designing them, and then I started working with the, the uh, burning of the wood, and they just kind of evolved. So I'm David Hoffman, and I'm the event director. Pretty much I run the show. I get the building, get all the vendors. Pretty much everything that there needs to be done, I do. So you're responsible for the whole show? Yes. So my brother started Odd Mall in 2009. He's a fantasy artist. And he would go to art shows and set up and feel out of place. So he decided, I'll just start his own show. And this is back in Ohio. And uh, in 2013, I was back in Ohio talking to him about this for a wedding. We were at a wedding. And uh, I asked him if I could bring it out here. And he said, sure. So. I started out here and we've been going since September of 2013. This is our eighth show. What's like a dream for Odd Mall? What if Odd Mall was like its absolute best incarnation? <laughs> what would you hope that we could have at Odd Mall? Oh, I would love to have like circus performers, trapeze, uh, all the best vendors in the Civil Northwest. That's Odd Mall. Takeaways, Seattle art is so cool. Everyone here is so cool.